regulating cybersecurity, a public-private sector collaborative approach. This resonates very deeply with the outlook of the Ministry of National Security since the launch of Ghana's National Security Strategy in June 2021. Among other things, the strategy emphasized the need for enhanced collaboration among the various government agencies, as well as enhanced collaboration between the government and the citizenry in combating security threats. And to that end, the two themes which have underpinned the ministry's activities over the last year, you must have noted, have been this whole of government and the whole of society approaches. Approaches that, as I have said, were outlined in our national security strategy. This launch, therefore, provides us an opportunity to reflect on our collective responsibility in safeguarding the security of our nation. But probably before delving into that, let me commend Dr. Albert N. Chibuasiakon, the Acting Director General of the Cybersecurity Authority, and of course his entire team for this initiative, which is in accordance with the mandate of the authority as defined in the Cybersecurity Act 2020, to raise awareness regarding cybersecurity and to encourage individuals and organizations to play their role in protecting our shared cyberspace. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that the theme for this month-long event is regulating cybersecurity, a public-private sector collaborative approach. Cybersecurity development everywhere is a shared responsibility and enhancing understanding of the provisions of the Cybersecurity Act 2020, Act 1038, and building synergies among all relevant stakeholders to ensure compliance with them is absolutely critical. Creating greater awareness of the law and relevance of the cybersecurity regulations among children, the public, business, and government whilst highlighting the need for public-private sector collaboration must be paramount. This Awareness Month is therefore important to ensure that everyone is involved in cybersecurity activities to ensure a safer digital Ghana. Distinguished guests, in the era of the fourth industrial revolution, New and emerging digital technologies and trends, such as fifth generation 5G networks, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, mobile web services, internet of things, and social media are radically changing the business landscape and reshaping the nature of work and business operations. Building a resilient digital ecosystem is therefore vital for national development we need robust systems with relevant laws, directives, and guidelines to secure our digital ecosystem. And we took a major step in this direction with the passage of the cybersecurity law. Ladies and gentlemen, the growing desire to accelerate inclusive growth through greater efficiency, transparency, and accountability in the delivery of public services has led to the implementation of national flagship digitalization projects, such as the mobile money interoperability, the digital property addressing system, universal QR code payment system, national identification system, the Ghana.gov payment infrastructure, the properties, the paperless port system, the e-justice system, e-procurement system, among others. The unique identification number for each citizen 
provide Ghana with a linked national database, as the Ghana card is currently linked to the tax identification number, National Health Insurance Card, Social Security and National Insurance Trust, SNIT, passport, and SIM card to provide seamless identification of all Ghanaians and promote secure transactions. Yes, technology. Now, use technology, now say, how are safe? Because opportunities now, technology, they ban bad side. So, in the um, cyber security month, uh, October, Cobia uh, is celebrating or the creating awareness, the success, and the challenges. Or better, how are we to me? Uh, speech you uh, mentioned child online protection for example eh yemba oba pon school ba ujimika or the computer sharing sa the course of computer no so no e bi awo ma me na na papa no kwa wo ni ni idea wo dey wo feel say akwara ni esua de eh nyoma boni bebe eh course a e was say abo for na na teachers ni obi a we concern dia ye create this awareness mo who say uh, you're my bad, so to me, a cosso, a beer gun, I am overshadow now in Colano, a betting Nissan, your man, your man, who are called clicky BB virus. Maybe our old parents is got with CBI, they are talk computer, na smartphone, and I be a mark, and now you say it break it down. See, see, as your mind interconnected from fear security cameras to fridge and out to microwave, what connecting. Uh, Nina, it is a colana penny echo download the virus. We cry and a ma and perform opportunity when you have access to your whole household because just a virus can bring your whole systems down. Sana so, institutions, uh, yeah, the child online, not at uh, yeah, how are you living your life, uh, companies, um. Uh, schools or oh, why I say school be a be our call Instagram or school be say or offer artificial intelligence training. A be a University of Ghana and a university is near and offer our course. Ujimika now I could sign up. Uti we are the next couple of days now school no at the Sapia. In Tinoma be a course I was say a bomb who did who nango for who say I was all verify. Uh, a baby MPC at the end, uh, DBI say uh, recruitment will be half our identity. Say uh, for a thousand bra, na ye page mama. So nyama ni na yes cyber issues. Uh, I will say yes. Uh, bad people no a yes ke film. A ya dia a hapa ubi timit na a bi a kufu for biso no wa attack you. So now in Ghana, but it's me Tracy. See, it's me boy who buying ya. It's me Tracy who say there be any Ghana for the ASI. It be if you go for it. It's a man's way opportunity ya. If I at the chair in Kofu say, you might be be cause why any, but I was say ma ye ni Kofu. Number one is Huawei Technologies, Unis of Ghana. The Council of Europe, the Virtual InfoSec African Limited, Ghana Association of Banks, the GCB Bank, Alisa Hotels, GIZ, the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications. There are many, many others who have supported this particular activity. But the names I've mentioned deserve special commendations. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to report that the Cybercrime Cyber Security Incident Reporting Point of Contact that was launched in 2019 to facilitate incident reporting has been instrumental in our fight against cybercrimes in the country. This year alone, as at the end of the third quarter, a total of 9,769 contacts have been received through the various point of contact, of which Close to 500 were recorded as actual cyber security incidents that we needed to take them through the various uh, uh, phases of uh, analysis or investigations. Out of this number, more than 5,000 were direct advisories, citizens who called the authority to seek guidance to prevent cyber crime cases. 
This means that over 5,000 incidents which could have caused various degrees of losses to victims were prevented and several amount of money saved. The top five most reported incidents included online fraud, unauthorized access to protected systems, online blackmail, online impersonation and publication of non-consensual intimate images and videos. Most of these attacks were perpetrated through social media using various schemes, including social engineering, phishing techniques. Ladies and gentlemen, lack of awareness of cyber risks, as well as inadequate cyber security control measures are the main vulnerabilities being exploited by perpetrators. Again, looking at the 5,000, when you are in security and there isn't a news about an attack, it appears as if you are not working. Honorable National Security Minister probably will answer better. But I want to share this with you to understand that within the year, if we are able to help 5,000 of our citizens to prevent scams, fraud online, I think that is a commendable achievement of the people I work with who are so committed to protecting the cyberspace of our dear republic.